In comparison to 2005, this has been a lean year for Todd Kelly, who is in 11th position in the championship. He was equal with this man here, Craig Lowndes, last year on number of race wins. Lowndes goes deep, deep, deep on brakes. He is going crazy at the moment, trying to get Jason Richards. He is on it. Craig had one more millimetre left oh. in braking performance then when he got to turn three. Just be cautious with him on two laps to go. That was hold your breath stuff. Campbell Little just saying be cautious. Back with Lowndes, chasing Jason Richards. Just shuffles uh, Rick Kelly down a little in terms of the points. It opens the gap between he and Craig Lowndes. One lap to run for Todd Kelly. Watch this, watch this. 0.7 of a second is the margin now between Kelly and Tander. Kelly's responded, but here comes Lowndes. And this is for a top four spot. Lowndes is hungry for as many championship points as he gets. Oh, right on the back of Jason Richards, and he hits him and sends him through the first chicane. Gee, that was wild. <laughs> I don't think Jason had much option then but to try and gather it all up and go straight ahead. That was a, a wild moment in the braking area at Turn 1. Last lap, mate, last lap. We saw us watching all the TV, just nice and steady. We've got about, um, yeah, we've got a, a wee while on the car behind. Ooh, boy. That could have been ugly for both of them. They both got away with it without a penny spent, but that could have ended up being a very expensive accident. Wild stuff into the braking area. Big catch there from Jason. <laughs> I'll bet his heart rate jumped up. And after what happened to him at Bathurst, I'm sure he was saying, no, not again. Well, after a good run yesterday, Craig Lowndes will start from position 11 for the second of the three V8 supercar races this weekend. Craig, firstly, after the opening race, you went and had a word to Jason Richards. What transpired in that conversation? Well, I just went up and apologised, really. Obviously, uh, you know, we, we had contact into Turn 1. Um, our car was pretty strong towards the end of the race, which it uh, generally is. The longer the race, our car gets better. And, uh, you know, Jason uh, looked like he was struggling for uh, brakes a little. But, uh, you know, there was contact, so I just went up and apologised and said, look, sorry for that. Um, you know, there was no harm done, and, uh, you know, I didn't mean to do it uh, and now spoke to the stewards and uh, Peter was uh, Peter Wallam was pretty happy. Okay just let's explain then why you'll start from position 11. What is the penalty? Why have you been put back those grid spots? Uh, just come from the stewards and they're saying I, uh, I was warming my tyres up so uh, you know it's something that's uh, you, from last turn to the grid you basically just got to idle down to the grid and uh, get your mark and I was uh, you know trying to warm my clutch up and and they've deemed it to uh, to be a tyre warming exercise and uh, so they've put me back as a drive through penalty which is 31 seconds uh, back in the grid which I think now believe start 11th. No doubt the incident got your heart rate up, the incident with Jason Richards, and we'll talk to him very shortly, but was it risky in terms of your championship, Craig? Have you thought about that in, in hindsight terms at all? Well, I just wanted to try and, uh, you know, push hard and, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting Jason to break uh, where he did and, uh, you know, there was a slight contact, but obviously at that angle of the road and that speed, it, you know, it obviously looked, like, it looked a lot worse than what it was. Jason got it under control, went through the chicanes, continued on and actually got an advantage because there was a bigger gap once I got through it. So, uh, you know, we spoke to Wallman, as I said, and, uh, you know, he, he looked at it as a racing incident. All right, we wish Craig Lowndes, the Bathurst winner and championship leader, all the very best in race two. Let's get the other side of the equation. Here's Daryl. I guess Jason Richards yesterday, there was an incident with yourself and Craig. It was a high speed part of the track down into one. You're surprised there was no penalty overnight for Craig? I am a little bit. I mean, you know, like I was borderline of I'm firing the car into the fence at 250k. So, and, you know, it would have been a big accident. And, uh, you know, I guess for the grace of God, we got through. But, uh, you know, you can't really go around hitting people, can you? And, uh, and, and, and putting people in those situations. So, look, you know, they had data claim group. Craig claims that we braked a bit early, but uh, my data was actually one half metres later that lap than it was on the previous lap. It's uh, clearly he may have better brakes than us at that point in time in the race, but uh, you know it doesn't give you the right to be uh, hitting people. You might as well drive around the outside if you can do it that much better. Other than that incident from yesterday, you've hurt yourself obviously this morning or overnight. These corporate functions, they get you every time. I was just walking to the track and I've rolled my ankle, so hopefully it'll be all right. Well, hopefully all things go well today. It's been tough. The weather's a little cooler, so it should be a good race. Yeah, look, really looking forward to it. The five-power Commodore is going fast, so fingers crossed. I want one of those surfboards, mate. Thanks, Chase. Ta.